Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So today I'm going to show you around my mom's pantry. Now, I have to apologize because I actually did not go ahead and put a before video or, you know, before shot in this video. So you're actually going to see it as is. A couple other things that I would actually like to mention. First of all, my mom is not an organized person. She is one of those kinds of people who prefers to clean, but absolutely hates the thought of organizing. Personally, I like to dabble more in organization and I don't necessarily clean as much as I should, but that's kind of because I feel like you need to organize first in order to clean. So I'm kind of just gonna throw a disclaimer out there that no, this pantry is not the most organized thing ever. I am not a professional organizer. I'm not trying to be. And honestly, my mom is like, su or she has such a hectic life that this pantry organization will probably turn to shit within a couple of months of me being gone. So basically, it's kind of one of those things where you have to keep at it in order to keep it the way that you want. So basically, I just threw out, you know, old canned goods, um, old things that, you know, we were never going to use. Basically, our diet in this household pretty much revolves around salad. So anything related to salad, I kept. Or, you know, we do like to have Mexican food every once in a while, so we'll make that. So I did keep some things related to that. We use a lot of spices as well. So I did obviously try to go through those and I did try to pare them down. My mom is the kind of person where she can't find stuff, so she goes and buys an extra and then she winds up with four or five of them. So I really did my best to try to pare it down to things that I know she will actually work with and that I know she'll actually use. I threw out all the old stuff. Um, Basically, I was just trying to kind of get it to a more manageable state. Again, I will say this is not completely organized. It is not as organized as it could be is what I mean by that. Yes, I could organize it further and I have done that in the past, but like I said, it basically goes to shit as soon as I leave the house. I'm only here for the summer for right now, so pretty much... I don't really want to invest a lot of time and effort into it right now. I will address the situation when I come back from school in December, but for right now, this is what we're working with. This is what's, you know, operational, if that's how you want to say it. And this is basically what I've done. I will have you guys know that this pantry looked like the absolute depths of hell. Like, it's not so bad that you can't, you know, like wade through it, but it's bad enough to the point where you don't want to. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna show you guys all the progress I've made and kind of like what my thought process was while I was doing it. So here we go. Okay guys, here we are at the pantry. You'll see right here the door is open and we have this nice little spice rack right here. Now, again, I will remind you, this is not as organized as it could be, but this is as good as it's going to get for the current moment. So I'm going to take you guys through everything. I'm not going to obviously list off all the products we have because who would watch that? But I'm going to kind of give you guys an idea of how I was organizing this. So let me take you off my tripod here. Move that to the side. Okay, so again, right here, we have all of the spices. This actually, the spice rack actually was built into the pantry and the house came with it. My mom's house is probably not even a year old. It's actually really new. It was just built in 2015. But basically, everything that we tend to reach for more happens to be from here down. My mom is a short little lady. She's about four, 11 and three quarters, although she calls herself five foot. 
So pretty much anything that is above right here, I have to, you know, go ahead and grab for her. And she doesn't like to pull out a step stool all the time when she's cooking because, I mean, who wants to do that as a pain in the ass? So I tried to make it a little bit easier on her. Everything that she uses most often is from here down. And we don't use all of these all the time. I mean, basically what we do use all the time would be salt and pepper. So, yeah, there's that. And then basically any kind of garlic or any kind of paprika or cayenne. So there's the little spice thing. And I've actually pared this down quite a bit. There are still some spices in the pantry itself. And I will show you guys that when I get to it. But these are all the ones that we use most often. And I just kind of felt like it would be nice to have them all, you know, within reach. Okay, so going into the actual pantry, I'm going to stand back a little bit just so you guys can have an idea. Okay, so there it is in all its messy glory. All right, I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. So... I started with the top and my mom has like a bunch of crystal crap that I would never have. So I just kind of put those items on the top mainly because she doesn't use them. Put some carafes up there. That wire, black wire basket thing is actually for utensils whenever she's entertaining. And then over here there's some jars and then there's actually the popcorn popper that we have. Moving down, these are things that we don't necessarily use all the time. So it's, you know, like sea salt and random little bits and bobs. That's just a uh, water bottle. There's some things from the container store, namely right here, which are part of the Alpha Utility. And we have a lot of Crystal Light. And then we also have the Skinny Girl Mango Berry for Soda Stream things. And if you guys are wondering why I have Soda Stream, it's actually built into our refrigerator. It's actually pretty cool. All right, so again, back there, kind of a mishmash. My mom, for whatever reason, wanted to actually buy jelly beans. I hate, I'm sorry, I hate jelly beans, but I will admit they're nice and colorful. Again, random bits and bobs. And then over here we have an extra coffee grinder. And then for whatever reason, these are in here. We, we like to go to the shooting range. And those are the ones I think that came with my mom's gun. I don't really remember. And then there's actually this thing, which I believe is a warming plate. And you know, you can use it for different things, but basically it's meant to be for if you're entertaining. I actually didn't look in here. This is gum and like old gross looking containers. Okay then. And why is there pasta? Oh, it's not pasta. But there's like crackers up there. It should not be there. My bad. And then we have lens cleaning wipes. So yeah, my mom uses those a lot. All right, moving over here, we have a bunch of spare house keys, and then we have two fly swatters, nothing special. Right here, I kind of tried to make it more related to baking, so, you know, you have the sugar, you have the baking cups, yada, 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 you get where I'm going with this. Moving over... I'm just gonna tell you guys right now that back there in that corner that doesn't really have a purpose. It's kind of just like the pointless corner. <laughs> All right, so back here we have like different kinds of grains and pastas, whatever. We don't really eat pasta. And then we actually just bought these at a little mini German store that is a couple minutes away from us. And my mom didn't know where to put them, and neither did I, so I just kind of left them there. Everything right here, these are all of the oils and sauces. 
and vinegars that my mom has. And it might look like a lot, but it's actually a lot less than what she had previously. So I guess I can't really complain. Over here, these sauces in this bin, they are all related to Asian food. So if you guys don't already know, I'm half Korean. My mom is full Korean. So we do eat a lot of Korean food in this house. So we have like different kinds of sauces if we feel like mixing it up, like Thai peanut, you know, blah, blah, blah. I believe there's also rice vinegar in here and there's definitely a lot of soy sauce. And then moving over to the left, this right here is actually just all Korean food. So we have seaweed, we have the panko breading, and there's, there's just a ton of crap back there. All right, moving down. This right here is actually all devoted towards, like, storing things, I guess. That's probably the best way to describe it. So you have, like, the Ziploc bags, and you have the Reynolds wrap, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Over here was a little bit more difficult, just because it's kind of, like, where do you put this shit? Because there's, there's like no rhyme or reason. And this has to be one of the smallest pantries I've ever worked on. So you have like more of the canned items down here. This right here, completely random. Just again, and I'm dropping stuff. Again, extra like Tupperware. But for the most part, this is all kind of canned food type stuff. I did put like oils and that kind of thing over here because I just didn't know where else to put them because we actually don't use them that often. Although I do admit I do use my white truffle oil <laughs> when I'm at home. Again, back there there's like a giant thing of tomatoes or whatever, canned tomatoes, soda stream stuff, and then Airwick stuff. Again, kind of random. Right here, this actually serves a purpose. And it is supposed to be all snacks. So my mom has an obsession with those peanut bars. And, you know, we have some peanut butter, blah, 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 popcorn, whatever. All right. Moving down. All right. This is, again, kind of random. So these are, like, that's like a snack that didn't fit up on the snack shelf. Then my mom has her Belgian waffle maker. And then she has like, I don't know, what is that? An extra pot or something? And then there's like some extra plastic silverware or whatever. Back in here, again, random. I have no idea what's in those containers and I don't really care. This is not my monkeys, not my circus. All right. I didn't know where else to put these. I just kind of threw them right here because I know my mom uses them pretty often. This is what I was telling you guys about where all those other spices were. Just kind of crammed in there because, again, I didn't really know where to put them. And then over here, whoops, sorry. That is, like, I have some vinegar, which I use to clean with. And then all the tea I tried to put, like, right here. And then there's actually ramen right there. And then, you know, there's a little bit of coffee there, too. Generally, on the bottom of the pantry, we keep, like, potatoes, we keep extra boxes of tissues, extra paper towels, and, yeah, just that kind of stuff, like, sundry-type things. We have, like, a bag of rice, we have a giant bag of baking soda, because I clean with that, too. We have a Swiffer in here. We have another tub right there, if you can see the red and white checkered um, fabric that actually has our dish towels in it. Got some pop in here. And then there's my mom's giant stock pot back there. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not as organized as I would like it. But I feel like for my mom's house, this is as good as it's going to get. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat links are all in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on all of those. See what I'm doing throughout the week. 
And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.